Well, hello again, everybody. After my video, the last video where I did the little myth busting thing about the uh, tape on the window and all that, some people seem to to like it, and they suggested maybe that I may check other like like automotive type myths. So, okay, so these this is what I've got for our little uh, experiment. Now the the myth is with car batteries, but these are lawnmower, lead acid lawnmower batteries. They are basically the same thing, just smaller. Uh, and what I did, I went and I bought two brand new ones. And I looked at the date on them, made sure they had the same date. And they're the same type of battery, as you can see. Okay, now the myth is, and I have heard this all my life. When you take a battery out of your car, or any kind of lead acid battery, don't set it directly on the concrete or on the ground. You always, no matter what, you always put a board down, or some kind of insulating material, and sit it on that. You never set it directly on the ground, or directly on the concrete, either one. It's, you know, it basically goes the same, I've heard it from different people, and it goes the same either way. Now, what people try to say is that if you sit lead acid battery like this directly on the ground or on the concrete now when you go to pick it back up it's going to be dead the ground is going to zap the power out of it and your battery will be junk now according to what these people are claiming if you sit your battery on the ground it is going to get drained fairly quickly like if you are working on your car and you set your battery on the ground by the time that you get done and you put it back in um your battery is going to be shot like, like they say it won't even charge anymore so what we're going to do we're going to do a little experiment here and i have two of the identical same batteries made the same date and everything let me uh let's go through here and check these out and make sure that they are as close as we can get okay this one 12.8.9 and this is 12 87 they are within a tenth of a volt of each other okay so they are pretty close to the same uh, voltage I mean within a tenth of a volt of each other so what we're going to do I'm even going to set the one that was a little higher I'm going to set it directly on the ground it was like a hundredth of a volt higher or something like that so yeah, I don't think it's really going to matter, but okay, this one, let's set, let's set our experiment up over here. We're going to set one of them on the boards. That's what everybody says to do. Set a board down under your battery. Never set it on the ground. Okay, well, there we go. The other one, we're going to set it right on the concrete, just like that. Now, so what we're going to do. Uh, we've already noted our battery voltage. Well, I don't need to put those back on. We've already noted our battery voltage. But I'm going to go through and note it again on camera so you can see what our voltage is. Okay, that's 12.86 on that one. 12.89 on that one. Okay, so it is Wednesday. So we're about halfway through our little experiment. And down here, I've still got our experiment running, but I'm going to make one change. Okay, you may notice there's a swimming pool. This is actually my pan that I put underneath a vehicle if I want to drain like coolant or something. Because it'll catch it. Anyway, okay. One thing I was concerned about... And you can tell I wiped this one off because I got some of the paint off of the date code. But um, I was concerned that water laying on top of the battery would cause a slight current draw between the terminals and could give us a false reading and let it uh, run down a little. In fact, it rained that first night and I come out and checked them and... They had both actually showed like they were like under a very, very tiny load. 
So, yeah. Okay, so now. Okay, so here we go. Let's check this. Put it down there, maybe you can see it. Okay, so here is the one that is sitting on the wood. And it is pretty much exactly the same as it has been, as you can see. Okay, so now the one that's sitting on the concrete. We are going to check that one. Pretty much the same, 8889, whatever. So yeah, so far, the two batteries are exactly the same. Now, to make sure and differentiate this from, uh, you know, that's, that's why I wanted to leave it run for half the time with it sitting on the concrete and on the wood. Now that it is ran for half of the time, or half of the week for that, and we've seen really no results, I'm going to take that one and I'm going to sit it directly on the ground. Like that. That way, that one is sitting directly on the ground. This one is still on the wood. You can see it held a little moisture under it. So what we're going to do is we're going to leave it like that. And uh, at the end of the week, we will check them again and see if there is any difference. Okay, so now it has been one week that these batteries have been sitting out here. Uh, I figure a week should be enough time for some type of result. If, if this really does kill batteries, then a week's time is enough time to have went by to see some type of a result. So let's check our batteries out and see what's going on. Okay, so as you know, this one has been sitting here on this block four weeks straight and has not moved now this one it was sitting there on the concrete and then I moved it over there because there was no change between uh, Saturday and Wednesday so it's now Saturday again so I'm going to check these two batteries and we're going to see what the voltage is and how uh, how our batteries are doing here okay as you can see 12.88 12.89 you probably cannot see that because of the glare there you go 12.88 12.89 so this battery after sitting for a week on concrete and dirt is exactly the same as it was when it started out okay and this one okay 12.85 eight five eight six so i mean there has been no loss between those two and there there is marley again she has to have her attention she can't stand it when she doesn't get attention see that petner didn't do a bit of good Okay, so the reason that I figured this would not work is because, okay, this battery is encased in plastic. The whole entire case is a sealed piece of plastic. Uh, I mean, the whole bottom part of the case. Of course, you have uh, caps on top to fill up your acid, and you have to have the terminals, obviously. Now, the only way that you are going to get a draw out of this battery to run it down is by these two terminals contacting something and a draw being pulled through these two terminals. There's not enough to shock me, so you don't have to worry about doing that. But um, that would be a small amount of draw right there. That would eventually run it down. Just that much draw. Just like I was saying before, the water around the top when these got rained on, I was afraid that the water would conduct enough to draw these batteries down just a little bit and that would skewer results that's that's the reason that i had the swimming pool over top of them but i think this myth is basically busted because the battery is sealed up you don't have any connection between these two posts to the ground okay actually this myth is 
based on some truth but it was from older rubber cased batteries uh, I'll put a picture of one up just the case of it and the problem with these cases was that they were kind of porous and they would allow moisture to seep through and to partially short out the cells and you would uh, have a dead battery so a modern battery you do not have to sit on wood but the older batteries you would have actually had to have set them on a board or something to prevent this but with a plastic case on your battery you don't have to worry about sitting it on the ground it doesn't matter where you sit it um it's not going to run down because of discharging through the ground so anyway yeah that's another uh that's, that's another little myth busted so just let me know in the comments below if you are in if you all are enjoying these little myth busting videos or not i'm kind of having fun with them i'm kind of enjoying them um i got new batteries for my lawnmower out of it so you know <laughs> that works too but anyway if y'all have any suggestions of like automotive myths or possibly other myths that you would like to see me test out and see if there's any truth to them let me know um Anyway, for right now, I guess that's going to be it for this little video. I appreciate everybody watching, and I'll see y'all on the next one.